sweating you like a freshman that's a senior I couldn't even sleep waiting for the next day just to see your girl just to see ya when you walk by my heart just skip the beat like a scratch CD I was knee deep in the bowl that is L-O-V-E sprung on sting love damn she got it take it all back oh man I love that little yeah, that spot, man. Hot. That shit is hot. <laughs> Here we hot. are, man. It's 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 the weekend, Friday. I'm in Miami. Stevie's in Brazil. Give me a little Brazilian uh, talk, there, Stevie. Give me some. Give me some. It's called, it's called, it's called Portuguese. Bro. Okay, Portuguese. Go ahead, bro. Give me that too. Oi, Felix, <laughs> muito obrigado. Okay. Eu tô convidando você, vai ter me convidando também. Nossos brasileiros agora é o primeiro show do Stevie B. Free, Stevie B freestyling. Freestyling aqui. So you dia. basically were welcoming everyone to the show is what you were Convidado, mesmo, mesmo, mesmo palavras em espanhol e convidado. Uh -huh. Same thing it, in Spanish. Yeah, it's, it, it's so it's similar. I mean, obviously it's a different yeah. dialect, but you I mean. You have to listen to the little swag. It goes a little way from Spanish, but yeah. for the most part, it's the same. Mas, nossos brasileiros, nosso primeiro show aqui on Freestyle TVB. E, futuramente, todos os sexta-feiras, seis horas da tarde em Nova York, no, em Miami. É, oito horas da tarde aqui. Depende do mês, depende da parte do ano. É, do hora. The time changes. Mm -hmm. mas, mas fica ligado aqui com a gente. E nosso show vai ser todos os dias. Nosso podcast com o Steve B. Valeu. That's awesome, man. That's awesome that you got so fluent in, in, in Portuguese, man. Because, boy, let me tell you, just knowing two languages for me is, is, is enough. But uh, I, I love mm -hmm. to learn different languages would love to do that at some point in my life but right now i got so much going on that that is not on the agenda but what is the, on the agenda is is the magic we're going to create the lives that we're going to touch um the memories that we're going to make on this podcast show it's going to be informational it's going to be fun it's going to be entertaining and speaking of entertaining i want you to take me back to this one moment that happened with you on stage check it out <laughs> like what? <laughs> I know what, where that's at. Wh where what? What was going on right there, man? First of all, that's San Antonio, Texas, bro. Okay. And let me tell you something. Them Texans love <laughs> fucking Stevie, <laughs> B, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they love me in that motherfucking Texas. Boy, you I had that you. thing lit, boy, for real. I was that like, was yo, la this kid that was last year. He's killing last, it right now. Like, uh, yeah, it's like seven months, eight, seven months yeah. ago. This, this yeah. is this is fresh. That you know what? Shit from the fucking eighties. You're you're like the you're like the. It's it's funny because I saw the movie now. <laughs> you're like the Elvis Presley of freestyle. <laughs> Damn, bro, that's a compliment. That is a fucking compliment. That's that's bro. the energy that that's the it, the bro. that's the energy that the yeah. concert has. It's not like oh, we're just checking my man out. It's like oh my god, there he is. He's singing no. for me. No, bro, they they got that shit like it's fucking Backstreet Boys. Uh, Boy, uh, thirty that's... fucking years ago, it's like Justin. Yeah, Bieber. man. These yeah. people got some love for freestyle. They got some love for Stevie B. No doubt about that. Yeah. So we named the podcast show Freestyling because basically you that's named what it's fucking freestyling. It's okay, an well, excellent name. Come on, man. I'm trying to collab with you, but <laughs> I get I know it gotta give yeah. credit where credit is due. Thank you, you know, sir. We're, I appreciate we're it. Going back and forth. You gave me yeah. like you know, ten different shows and I thought freestyling was the best. It doesn't have to be with freestyle. But yes. We freestyling right off the cuff. Right, right there the you go. That I yeah, got what you feeling. Man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I feel and, what you're feeling. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I, I was like, yo, that's a perfect title because it, it all kind of uh, coexists together and it combines what this show is all about. Just, you know, talking about things that touch the heart and, and cool moments in time. You know what I'm saying? No about and you, I mean, you hit the you hit the the nail right on the head with this, and 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 I feel good about that. Look, I'm a, I'm a stickler with stuff like that. 
yeah. know, cool names, uh, names that synonymous with other stuff, uh, 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 analogies, that kind of shit. And you, and yeah. you pretty, you're a pretty philosophical guy yourself. And, and I get uh, around. You into this. <laughs> <laughs> I get around. I get around. But yeah, listen, I'm excited. Yeah. We're going to talk about your merchandising because I know you haven't done that um, in a while. Also, uh, as far as people that want customized things from Stevie B, that's going to be available in the future, which is going to be very exciting for people because they want your personal stamp on some of the things that they do in their life. Like imagine yeah. you imagine imagine a, a, a man is a little timid to propose to his girl. And he said, you know what would be cool? If Stevie B proposed to my girl <laughs> for me. You know what I'm saying? That or is some awesome shit. That you know what I'm saying? Or vice versa. Or vice versa. Hey, hey man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Stop playing. Hey, you can be like, hey, this is Stevie. Stop playing them games, man. She love you like there's no tomorrow. Bro, put a ring on it before you lose it. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's right. <laughs> I got it. You know, hey, 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 Carol, this is Stevie B. And uh, Michael just called me and said, Stevie, you got to get on the phone with really, bro. I'm going to, I'm afraid. I said, the guy loves the shit out of you and he wants to be with you forever. Uh, That's right. Will you marry? And I said, would you marry us? <laughs> will you marry us? He said, hell Cause yeah. Because I'm going to be a part of their life uh, too. Exactly. I've been a part of their life for, for the last 35 years. That's right. They're not going to kick me out now. <laughs> they, but the dude is going to be like, hey, Stevie, we, we good with all that, but just you can't come to the honeymoon. <laughs> no, I, no, no. I'm going to be in the room doing it because I got to serenade them. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I gotta, you, yeah I you, are, you are. Oh, that's a perfect title for the next album, The Serenader. Ooh. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, with Stevie B eight nights. Yeah, I like it. I like it. so personalized Stevie B videos for your business, for your proposals. All that's coming up for you. Uh, DM us if you're really interested in it on Stevie B's uh, fan page on Facebook, and uh, you know we'll we'll go ahead and uh, get that meter going for you. Um, the other yeah. thing I want to talk about is because there's a lot of excitement right now for the brand new single "Take It All Back," uh, which really officially has not even been released yet, but we've been teasing it and and kind of dropping gems out there. Talk to me a little bit about how you're feeling so far. What's the senses, Stevie? Well, we're we're slow dripping it because we're trying to pull, we're trying to hold back as much as we can because we know there's some moving parts with this thing. There's other stuff that normally labels uh, uh, have in place, but because this is coming on us so quickly, and plus, you know, uh, we have the tour starting next month. Yeah, that we wanted something in those streets. We wanted to create some excitement, kind yep. of get the cobwebs off of everybody because they were coming out of. Uh, Christmas and New Year's, Thanksgiving, and uh, uh, we're just trying to create the new excitement for 2023. Yeah, and I didn't want, and I really didn't want to wait until you know I got out there and then have to do all this legwork. So this is what labels normally would have had this ready uh, four, five, six months ago. Yeah, and do a a, a competent uh, a competent la launch. So uh, since I'm so incompetent when it comes to this kind of stuff, <laughs> and then, you know, but um, look, I, I was excited about this record uh, a couple of years ago. Yeah. Uh, when original release was in 20 during COVID. Yeah. And by the time I had got the record ready, the whole mm -hmm. album, Best of Life, ready to go, COVID hit hard. And I said, I'm so screwed. Ain't nobody going to be interested in no records right now because everybody's just trying to stay alive so it was the wrong time and i couldn't pull it back pull it back it was already in the system it would look dumb i said well just let it ride let people discover and yeah. it, you know it did well it, it just did well but it's not doing it's not doing what this is doing and this, yeah. and this is what i thought the album would do so uh um I let it ride. We went through COVID. I mean, it wind up lasting because everybody thought it was going to last just a couple of months. I don't know if you remember that. Everybody's like, oh, no, within four months, this will be over three months. And people were still scheduling shows. Yeah. You know, then it got to the point where, you know what, they, they're they going to shut down the whole planet. So uh, I said, at some point, I want to revisit it and um, uh, take it all back. I, I, I thought could have been uh conceptual conceptually 
I thought it could have been way better. So uh, when I started reproducing the the musicals uh, that's going to go under the bed of it, I already had the the you know already had the melody. I had the hook. Yeah, uh, I had to go to go back in and sing it, uh, and I went into a really nice studio uh, hideout in Las Vegas. It's amazing, beautiful. I used the big uh, Sony mic with the big old bump on the back of the head. That be- beautiful yeah. one. Yep, 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 yep. And, and the vocals just came out so miraculously. Yep. And then I had a I, I had a version that I was happy with, mm-hmm. and then I said I want to. put uh, something in there that's going to identify the nostalgia of it and that's when you and I began to talk yeah. and you said you know you let me hear a track that you got. I still want my track bro you stop playing <laughs> no, hey listen sorry. man when you when no, you no, sent no, me listen when you sent face, me bro. look at my face bro look at my face <laughs> when you sent me take it all back and I heard it I immediately gravitated to the song I was like yo Stevie sent me stuff before, but there's something magical about this song, man. This this song really like you 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 put your you know your soul, your heart and soul into that song. You can hear like the vocals, the passion behind the vocals. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, mm-hmm. I immediately said, you know, take it all back. You know, started summarizing it, and I said, listen, man, we've got to do clips of your old stuff and and just create like a mega mix within a single. And uh, and that's exactly what the the aim was, and went into if the it studio. Was up to, if it yeah. was up to me, if it was up to me, because I don't know if you remember, I need you that I did a long time ago. Yeah, I need you, you but I want, it's six minutes long. Come on, man, that's a that's Back a classic. Then, that's a I Miami classic. It. Yeah. Okay, but I never would cut it. I said, yeah. if, if fucking radio station, and it, and it became a platinum record. Yep. And I said, I'm not cutting the record. I said, if radio station want to cut it, let them cut it, let them edit themselves. Yeah, yeah. But I said, I said, I'm not cutting this record. So when you gave it to me at six minutes, I said, leave it alone. Yeah, you Let's did. Give us six minutes. Yeah. yeah. And I said, you know, and you know, you're like, hey, we're in Spotify now, and there's three minutes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, radio yeah. We got to do it shorter. Yeah. And you just finished the fucking radio version because you know it was hard to. It's hard to cut that cake up and say, oh, you can only have a little piece Yep, now. yep, 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 yep. But you, made it, but you made it feel like a big piece, and that was excellent. So all of the moving parts, and then, you know, I've been wrestling with this, even with Ed Ramos when he was doing my mixes. We've been at this for months. People don't know behind the scenes. Ed would send me a mix, and I'm like, that has to come down. This has to go up. That vocal is too low. This and that, the other. And, and you know, just like a champ, Ed was uh, 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 very amenable to me. He, yeah. he, that guy's got a lot of respect for me. I got a lot of respect for him. One of the vocals was off. Shouts out to Ed. Yeah, shouts out to him. Yeah, absolutely. So, so then when you and let your people touch it, you know, you and Lenny and and yeah. and I'm like, I'm like, these boys got something special. That mix was coming across. We hard. have fun now. You know, you know, we fought fought over the AOA now. Yeah, yeah, we did. <laughs> We Y'all did, and we came up with you know uh, we came up with a meeting of the minds with two versions. <laughs> and you take your pick. Virtual. Yeah, you it want was, the you Miami bass or do you want the dancier you know flavor? Look, yeah. I say in the song, and eight oh eight, you and me, it's yeah. all love. So eight oh eight, it was my instrument. That's what the thing I could program, you know. And, yeah, and, and it, it's a part of that. Eight oh eight is a part of our musical style. It's a part of our ingredients. Absolutely. Uh, that, that makes freestyle, but uh, I, and I see where you were coming from. You said I'm going to put it here, but during this section, let it bow out a little bit, and yeah, we'll so it can breathe back. a little bit. So speaking of breathing, never pers- yeah, Go speaking ahead, of breathing. So on your mic, I think it's better if you bring it to the side because the the peas are popping. While we do that. I'm going to go ahead and play the 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 video we put together real quick. It's not the official video, but this is Take It All Back for those of you that have not had a chance to see it. And for those of you that have seen it, guess what? You're going to see it again. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I'm really I'm really proud of this record. I think, uh, you know, it's just overall a good feel record, you know, feel good record, I mean. And uh, we we rock it, man. Play it, play it. Let me get. I'm gonna get my uh, DP here, right here. I'm gonna get my P popper uh, thing here, and then we gonna, we're not gonna have the pops no more after this. 
Okay, so, uh, you go got ahead and play it. it. And then we'll talk about the sex because there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot, lot to unwrap in the track. Okay. Freshman, there's a senior. I couldn't even sleep waiting for the next day just to see your girl, just to see ya. When you walk by my heart, I skip the beat like a scratch CD. I was knee deep in the bowl that is L O V E. Sprung on Sting Love Dance. Yeah. Take it all back. Do you remember way back time when the world went so uptight? And hot damn, I miss it. Hot damn, I miss it. We were young, we were wild and free. All I wanted was a move of feet. And hot damn, I miss it. Hot damn, I miss it.
love that part, man. We need more battles. Why does that? Why do I love that part? So, you know why? Because by the time you hear the record and it gets to that six minute part, you've already drank whatever you have, and you're gonna be so. <laughs> Like, we need more bottles and play the record one more time. <laughs> hold on a second. Hold on a second. I am not hearing you. Uh, did you switch it? Yes, you are okay, now. There you go. There you go. Uh, no, any peas and poops and pop. Oh, now, you, pop now, now you're official, bro. Now you are official. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now you now you rolling. Now you rolling with the big dogs. Uh, <laughs> I, I try my best, bro. Yeah. You, but you see how best. I look out for you, though, right? You see how I look out yeah, for you. I, say, gonna, hey, you know, I okay. got you. I got you. I don't know. We good. Uh, we good. Got you back, man. Yeah, Come what on, a, man. What a what a what a great track that is. I got to tell you that that yeah. is such a good song. Um, I, tell me about the band, I, man. The the, oh, the guy the, the guys that you roll with, you know, like your live band when you do your shows. Tell me, I know, I know. Uh, these guys, like these guys, have been with me quite a while, and my drummer Don's been with me for um, thirty two years, maybe. Yeah. Uh, the rest of the band members have been with me probably about twenty years because I've switched a few of the guys. But normally, when the guys come with me, they 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 stick with me, bro. They they they, they yeah. hang with me a long. They hang with me a long time, so. Uh, these guys are easy to work with, uh, make requests. Just made a request the other day. They'd have to learn this version of Take It All Back. Okay. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to sneak it in and maybe do a longer version of Spring Love some type of way. But they got to get this. This is that magic yep. uh, of that, that medley, that whole thing in there. So... Uh, <laughs> My request to them was just learn this, and then we'll 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 finagle it. We'll figure it out. We'll so, finagle and, the uh, bagel. Yeah, finagle the bagel. So they 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 got the request, and they didn't haggle. They just say, okay, we'll get yeah. it done. Don't worry. Yeah, remember you got the uh, the hip hop kids that are also going to do a cameo appearance at the Miami show. Yes, March eleventh, yes. Watsco Center. Uh, take it on uh, uh, freestyle explosion and uh, they you know they, they're definitely going to uh, they're lighting up light up for you man and uh, do their mm -hmm. thing man so they're really excited about that yes 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 so li listen we didn't get a chance to finish so uh, th th the plan is to release the single in the next week or two on well, all digital it's, it's platforms slow, yeah it's, it's 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 a slow drip right now okay uh we i think we finally got the parts you got the uh picture today that we want to go yeah. i think yeah. we should go with i think we should go with that uh animation okay because the animation it's it's the look of my old look yeah it, and it's got a it's it's new school because it's digital yeah. Yeah, because so, people want to know. Uh, They're like, okay, we've seen the video. You know, we see what you got up on Facebook. What's up, man? Yeah, <laughs> when when yes. can we actually download a copy and have it in our possession? You know what I mean? That's yes, what they. So, that's what they so care about. You know, we're get we're get we're getting close. And I wasn't crazy. Uh, you know, I'm not just like crazy. Uh, oh, they got to get it. and Everybody's gonna buy it. They, I don't think they're gonna buy it. People are on subscriptions right now. They're just gonna uh, stream not it. Even yeah, they're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna stream, stream it. it. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> You know, uh, so and that's some what, will buy that's it. Some will, ready for. yeah, some will download it. But yeah, obviously they want to uh, be able to stream it on their Spotify's and Amazons and and, and all of that stuff. So that's pretty mm -hmm. cool. And uh, you know, uh, all I can say is I think this is a great way to start the year for you, man, uh, with a brand new single and 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 just igniting the spot and making it hot. Well, I I wanted something to go into uh, twenty twenty three with some kind of action. Yeah. some kind of energy because every year doing the old school thing it's monotonous because you they already know they're going to get the old school songs that's sure. what they're coming for sure so how do you how do you freshen up something that you've been feeding the people now for 35 years yeah so you say how can i freshen this thing up a a, a little bit and uh take it all back was the perfect song mm -hmm. number one uh, to get them to pay attention to what we've already been doing, but we put a fresh take on it. It's energetic. Uh, you tapping into, you tap into, uh, uh, you tapping into the past. You tapping into the memories of the people. Yep. And those are some good years for a lot of people. That was the teenage years. New flavor and let me at tell the same time. Yep. Same time. That's and that was a general idea. 
Uh, and that's why it was so important for us to kind of slow drip it right now, get this energy going. I mm -hmm. don't think anybody else has the energy we got going right now with a new record, not from this genre. Yeah, just on your one page alone on Facebook, it, it's over 30,000 views now. And that's not engagement. That's just the views of people actually amazing. watching the video. Yeah. So that's, that's, so that's, a, that's a great sign. So talk to me about March 11th. Uh, it's happening at the Watsco Center. It's you. It's Debbie Deb. It's K7. It's Johnny O. It's Trenier. It's the Jets. Wow, I haven't seen them in a while. My girl, I love Betty. Sweet sensations in the building. This is how we do it, Montel Jordan. I've Jordan, never seen. Can you believe yeah. I've never seen Montel Jordan live on stage? That's crazy. Um, He's fucking amazing. That guy sucks the fucking energy out of the building. That guy. <laughs> He kills him. He kills him. You got the I, cover girls the there as well. Yeah, you got yeah. MC Shy D, yeah. Freestyle, Rob Bass. Come on, man. How can you go wrong? This is <laughs> like the epic freestyle collection uh, and, and, and hip hop. It's great. It's great. Yeah. And you know, hip hop celebrating their fiftieth anniversary this year. So, man, this is this. Uh, I guess, shouts out to Alan Beck, man. That's a a perfect lineup. A perfect lineup. Well, people be asking me because they they really believe I'm the one behind all the lineups. Uh -huh. Look, Alan been Alan been with me now for um, seventeen years, so he he knows the genre almost just as well as me. Who works well? Uh, mm -hmm. We were talking about uh, dealing with a, a fusion of uh, who we you know who can be on what can what can be the next big thing that kind of stuff. We talk about it all the time. Yeah, but he he realizes what works with us and what doesn't work with us. He knows who's hot in Miami, and who is he knows who's hot in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. He knows who's hot in fucking he, in, in 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 San Jose. So yeah. he'll mix and match and max and mi uh, mac and uh, and mix, yeah. and uh, 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 his formulas his formulas are great. He'll throw them by me, and he'll say. When you think about such, I'm like, damn, that'll work. Jets will work. Taylor Dane definitely works. Yeah. Uh, it's that demographic because so much good music was being made during 87 all the way to, let's just say, 2000. Yeah, you almost have to be a program director when you do these concerts. You know what I'm saying? So because you so totally right. Different, totally right. Different groups have had their popularity in different areas. So you got to know yes. what you're doing because you don't want to bring somebody that got a 50 people drawing because that's that's yeah. not dollars to make sense. That's right. <laughs> At the end and, of the day. And, and, and this is a part of the conversation when we talk about adding some of the freestyle. They're like, why you don't put this one on and this one on and this one on? Because sometimes they just don't mean nothing to the bottom line. This is about business, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, and, and availability. The about. And availability. Yeah, and, and they have to be available. I yeah. mean, that's a, that's one thing too. But for the most part, um, you know, you, you know, this is about business, and yeah. the promoter puts up a lot of money, and we have to be able to fill that building up to be able to come back year after, after year, year after year. Yeah, yeah, man. So that's those the, combinations have to work. Yeah, that's the Miami show, and then you got this going on, which is at the uh, at the arena. Is that down in uh, Tampa? Is that Tampa? No, no, no. That's that's Palm Springs. I oh, think. Palm Springs. My bad. Yeah. Palm Springs. So that's Palm Springs. That's a new venue in Palm Springs. That's a okay. new venue. Okay. And so we the, haven't been to Palm Springs in in a, in a long time, and it's way uh, way overdue. One thing about Allen, he'll go to a market five six seven times and then he'll say let's pull off a year let's back it up let them be hungry for it now some of the markets that's don't a good need idea it. yeah some markets don't need well, that like miami need no, even though no, it, even though it. a lot of freestyle groups perform out here aside from you you guys have the the big kahuna of the year but besides that you know there's l little promoters always doing freestyle concerts out here so freestyle well, gets miami a lot of is love a, miami in is miami. An issue yeah, Miami is an issue. You know that. You know mm -hmm. you got a couple promoters. They they're doing stuff out in and and uh, off offshore. You got a uh, 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 Louis C. Rock. He's doing stuff down in the Keys now. Yeah. So everybody yep, yep. wants those little vacation things and this and that. And they got people doing a cruise now. Yep. Uh, people are going across onto the islands. So there's always a little competition here and there. But it's just one main thing though. They can't fuck with us, bro. 
We got a special thing it's going. It's the freestyle explosion. Explosion. <laughs> That's a special thing going. But so we, get, we set. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I was going to say. So the lineup here changed up, like we just talked about, right? You got Lisa yes, Lisa, yes. which wasn't in the Miami lineup. You got Taylor Dane, which wasn't in the Miami lineup as well. Yes. Uh, usual suspects would be TKA and Trenier. I uh, love yes. my girl. You know, she always puts it down no matter where she goes. You're also bringing no the Jets and the that. cover girls uh, with you and MC Shadi and Freestyle, who are also in Miami. So the way you those changed are, it those up. Are, those are homeboys. Those yeah, are the way people. you changed it up is you added Lisa Lisa and Taylor Dane for the most part. Yes, for, for outside, because Lisa is doing another show yeah. in West Palm. Uh, I think she's gonna do the, uh, the um, give a plug to my boy Johnny Quest. He's doing Ice Cube. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. Think, shout out to Johnny Quest. Yeah. And I think they, I think they're going in April, maybe. Uh, mm. I don't know, but uh, there was another engagement, and and uh, we'll we'll miss Lisa on that show, but she'll be back, no doubt about that. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we dip from that, and we go to your next. I think you got a total of five dates so far, but uh, here's the next one: the YouTube Theater. And, yeah, this uh, is the one. Yeah, that's in L.A. Yes. So last year we sold that out. So look, it's in, and I asked him uh, the other day how it was tracking. He said it's going to sell out again. So L.A. is is a you know hungry market for all types of music. One thing yeah. in L.A. they can listen to fucking bachata, tajano. <laughs> they can go straight up deep Mexican of yeah. uh, classics, and then they'll drop fucking Spring Love on your ass and go straight to Dr. Dre and Snoop. Yeah, yeah, they'll that's do a line. That's they'll how do LA, a, they'll, they'll do a line dance and then start crip walking. Yeah, man. <laughs> all, uh, all in the, all in six minutes. They don't give a shit. One thing about, oh yeah, one about that West Coast. Oh, yeah, they man. Like I that. love my West Coast. Oh. Shout, shouts to Mellow Man Ace, man. That's my dog. Yeah, my boy Mellow. What's yeah, up, Mellow? Man. Mentiros. Yeah. I kept telling yo, Mellow Man, you got to do a remix of Mentirosa, bro. How live would that be, man? Got to remix but that song. he needs song. to do it. He's got to do it with, you know, with a take it all back kind of flavor. That's right. That's uh, right. You know, he got to do it with, with uh, you know, I was thinking about. And he can go down the Latin he, vibe with that. You know what I mean? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to give, uh, I'm going to give some tips on somebody I think is a great idea. Mm. You're going to be like, Steve, you can't tell him to do that, bro. Everybody's going to jump on your style. <laughs> no, man. Hey, spread the knowledge. Spread How the love, do you, baby. The formula of how do you bring your old stuff to bring it to the present and mix it and match it uh, to where it can create a little bit of magic. So you got to tell the story. So what's the next story about Take It All Back or how do I make my next song mix in with something from my catalog? Mm. You see? Mm -hmm. But... Uh, we we bring something from the catalog as part of the novella, part of the the drama and the story, and that carries the hook. But you tell a new, fresh story for today. So uh, uh, if you just caught that, that's a good idea for you. How do you blend it in uh, your new? And the old and bring them together. Yeah. And people are like, I got oh, I man, really I'm high. glad you I'm glad you said that. That's a good observation. I'm glad you said that because now I know what I'm gonna do with beautiful. Thank you. I look back, I swear, woo boy. <laughs> so so think about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How 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 far can this series go? Yes, sir. With the yep. with the amount of hits we got. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? We I mean, there's the, the you know, so beautiful is of, it's a story. It see, so beautiful is a a, a, a a true story. Yeah. So it's real. What I'm saying in that song is real. And um, how do we put the new flavor? But and that song ain't old. Now you're talking about old, like, well, Spring Love is kind of old, thirty some, thirty five years old, thirty five years old. But uh, so beautiful, I cut in, uh, I think in 2015. Yeah, but it never got it, that song never got released. I have albums that I never released them; they just out. They're songs you never heard so beautiful before, mm -mm. you know. And so I sent it to you. You'd be like, "What the hell? When did you do this? Where? What is this?" Yeah, because I, say, I got I heard I got stuff in the can. The bro. top forty dance isms 
of that track. I'm like, this track, yeah, Stevie, th- you know, take it all back. Yeah, that's definitely, you know, a, a freestyle, you know, retro-ish, you know, type of vibe. But beautiful, I could turn that record into a, 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 re- a relative present song right now. You know what I'm saying? You a told me that as soon current, as you heard it. Yeah, a current you, dance song right now. You told me that right as soon as you heard it, you said yeah. that to me. Yeah. And I said, well, I'm not... I'm not that avid program director artist that I used to be because I was up on who was hot, what was hot. I knew what people in my genre was genre was doing. I know what the top 40s was because I was competing. I was competing with Whitney Houston, Bette Midler and everybody else. And I needed to know uh, when that Shaw Day record dropped this and that, what the competition was, because I was, Mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, I was in the game that way. Uh, but today, I'm not making no fucking record to compete with Lil Dirk, bro. I'm not doing it, you know. <laughs> you feel Why me? not, man? I can see you doing that kind of rap, man. Come on. No, you it. don't. No, you come can't. On, come you on, know, you Stevie. Can't. You could do it, bro. I don't know if I feel all that. that would com- be, hey, look. That, hey, that look, would be hilarious, hey, though, bro. Hey, look. If, if, they, if, they, if they present a bag, I, if they mean, cut, I, might, yeah. be able to learn, I might be able to learn it. <laughs> if they cut a check, boy, you slanging. What? Come on, let's go. I'm let's go. In, I'm all in the gym. All right. I'm in the gym. And, so uh, there's another there's on. another moment that I wanted to ask you. Let, let's flash back to this uh, Detroit moment here. Okay, you know what I mean? Like, okay, I ain't on some big stage, you know, with major production. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, I, I got to take this. I got somebody okay. making a delivery here, and okay. I need to. Can you can you play something real quick? Would you? What did you have playing up uh, up next? Just put something uh, up real quick so we let, can. Let me go into. Or you can edit this. Or you can edit yeah. this. You know what? Let's go ahead and go into the Stevie B merch because we want to talk about that as well. Check yeah, out I gotta Stevie get the door. B's I gotta t-shirts. Get the door. Here we go. There you go, party people. If you want to get your official Stevie B t-shirt, all you got to do is go up on the FB page and you can order it right there. Okay. I was just uh, showing them uh, the little little spot you put together for the t-shirts. Look good. Who came up with the designs, you or your wifey? No, this was the the, the, the t-shirt guy. He's got some nice, nice stuff. Okay. Um, uh, what's it? What's the co- the company called? Something Top Tees or some shit like what's he calling it? Yeah, uh, Drop Tees or something like that. Yeah, Drop Top Tees, Drop Top yeah, Tees. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And mm-hmm. and my dude, he's doing. He does a great job. So we're gonna we're gonna get on that, 
And um, my, I have mine with the, the big Stevie B picture. I bring those from Brazil. Yeah. So we're going to offer those. I hadn't offered those because when I offer them, yeah. I don't have enough for the shows. Uh -huh. I have to be able to carry it out to the show. So if I sell them online, I run out too quickly. So yeah. when I come back, I, I bring like a, a a couple of thousand with me from Rio. Gotcha. Uh -huh. So uh, and uh, and and I try to run because it's a lot to bring as luggage, you know. And they it really to, is. They'll, yeah. They'll tear they'll of tariff you. They tear yeah. your ass at the at the at the airport. I know. You know I know. I, when I do my breakdancing events, you know what I mean. I I, I try to do that, and I'm like, man, I can't mm -hmm. take but twenty t-shirts. I <laughs> Otherwise, they charge you an arm and a leg. They charge you know, an arm and a leg. For... They, well, they, they charge me for freight because they say it's a commercial freight when you have. I say, but they 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 t-shirts with me. They say, I don't, we don't give a damn. You know, mm. them folks want their money. They, you yeah, they bring do. Bringing something in here, that's an import. Yeah, Import they do. tax. That's what they want. Yeah. Let's move so, forward. Let's real quick. Yeah, real quick. Just want to mention that on March 23rd, I, I will be at uh, Super Wheel Skating Center. Uh, along with Mia, and we're going to be, uh, you know, I'm going to be mixing it up, obviously, and then the roller skating thing. Come on, man. We grew up on roller skating, so I'm looking forward to that. Big shouts going out to Arturo and Tom, the owner of Super Wheels. Uh, thank you for, for having DJ Sama come through. You know, I got my, my let's boy talk Frank about Let's Lawrence. talk about how this how yeah. this record is tailor-made for the skating rinks. It really and I know is. what you was thinking. I know yeah. what you was thinking, bro, the whole freaking time. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I say this is a fucking skating rink record. Yeah, he finna kill it. He finna kill it. Yeah, every sample you use, the movement of it, the style, yeah. you know. Hey, buddy, buddy, hey, buddy, hey, buddy, buddy. buddy. But yeah. back, yeah. but back, but you wanted to talk about, um, you wanted to talk about Detroit. That's right. But I, I, sh I played the clip. I played the clip. You I, saw it. I, I, okay. I know. Yeah. I, I, you know, I had to take a little break. But okay, cool. I, 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 I watched Stevie B. Uh, as he performs, mm -hmm. and people don't know what we grew up in in Miami back in the in the the Tiny Head days and uh, uh, wow, Triple Tiny, M DJs, that, that name in a long Triple time. M DJs, yeah. but it's just the way Eric Griffin, uh, Jimmy, Eric Griffin, Jimmy G used to used to DJ like that. So we wanted to DJ Uncle Wow, you know, yeah man, uh, yeah. Let's go, come on out, what? Yeah, Bring man, it. with Bring the base in. base yeah. cabinets, yeah. wall to wall. Yes, what? man. Come on, ghetto style. My head, right? Ghetto style DJs. Ghetto yeah, style jam DJs. pony. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's where we come. So, from. so when they watch us, watch me perform, they just really watching the D because I used to DJ. But I, you know, people don't know I was when I was in Tallahassee. I opened up a club while I was in college. Uh huh. And I wanted, and I wanted to be a DJ. I was a DJ at the club. Used to love you know, the so DJ you, in Tallahassee, College Town. Come bro, on, man. Come it's on, bro. Come on, man. It's a problem. And like, yo, it's you just missed your flight, and we like, so. <laughs> What's the problem? So exactly. So, so what? <laughs> so a lot of my, a lot of my style as a performer, ad libbing, comes from Jimmy G. K, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tiny Head. Mm -hmm. uh uh ghetto ghetto djs triple m uh all them ones you mentioned yeah but that's how we that's how we roll come on up. yeah get in there yeah let's go yeah we learned and for how to me -lib like that. and for me in miami you know there was you know no youtube and all that back in the day so what I used to do is I used to go to nightclubs and I would watch a guy named Aldo Hernandez over at Tradewinds mm -hmm. in North Miami. I would go to Casanova's yes. and watch Ciro Yanera yes, uh, yeah. up in there. I would watch these guys and emulate what I saw when I got back home. And that's basically yes, the way yeah. I practiced was, you know, from yeah. these guys, um, they were my mentors. They were my teachers. You know what I mean? But you yes. know, I would just have to go there and just look and then come home and try to replay what I saw. Well, this is this. And, and so when they're watching you DJ and they're watching me perform and doing all that, they're libs, going, yeah, and, I'm proud of that. Guy. Put your hands up. Yeah. 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 It's that ad lib. It's that energy yeah. that the DJ. So they're watching a performer as a singer, but I'm being a DJ right there because I know how to hype the crowd on the breaks and yeah. get the people get the people into the groove you know that that's how that's how i used to get excited 
about going to the block parties, you know, mm -hmm. over in Miami, down south, South Miami, South Miami DJs, tiny yeah. Yeah. So let's yeah. let's do let's do a little uh, a section that we affectionately affectionately call a Stevie B moment. So see if you can remember where this yeah. moment came from. Do you see that picture right there? You want me to enlarge it a little bit? Hold up. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. What is, let me see. What there you is go. That? that looks like... That looks like... Maybe Brazil? It could Sao be Paulo, Brazil. Maybe? Sao Paulo? Yeah, it looks like they Brazil? have, like, um, uh, billboards all across the back end of uh, of this venue. Yeah. Is it Sao Paulo? Brazil? Your guess I'm is thinking. better. It's, uh, yeah, that looks like that looks yeah. like San Paulo to me. Yeah, okay. that looks like San Paulo to All me. All right, so let's move yeah. on. Let's try another one here. How about this one? <laughs> Look at that thing right there, boy. That's one of our sold out arenas, bro. That, that, that thing is yeah. lit. Look, that's everybody anywhere. got their lighters up. Put your lighters up. Put yeah, your that's lighters anywhere up. Anywhere United States. That's anywhere <laughs> in the United States, right? That's, there, that's bro. that. That could be any freestyle explosion show. Yes, All right, let's see if we got one more here. Oh, okay, here we oh, go. Damn. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Look at you. That looks like a, <laughs> that. Look, that looked like the the the, the new uh, a CG picture dude is doing right now. See, that's the old TVB right there. You know, you know who you see? look a little bit like here. You look a little bit from the like dude from Cameo. Uh, Larry Blackman. Is that the is that the look you were going yeah. for? You were look you were going for that no, look. No, no, no. Okay, because no, you no, look a little bit like him in that, that in that I, picture. No, no, no. I wasn't trying to do that. I was I actually had my own my own you had your thing, own thing going right on. There. You know, I had my little mustache going. Speaking so I wasn't of that, to emulate Larry. speaking of yeah. that, man, you did a performance at the Apollo Theater. Am I correct by saying that? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, you, dude, you got, you got those clips. Yeah, yeah, I got a clip. I'm going to play, the, I'm a, I'm a play, I'm a play a, a backdrop of it, but talk to me about how that came about, real, you know, the real short version, but how did that all come about? And there were so many people back in those days that got booed off that stage like there was no tomorrow. But here you are going to New York City, rocking some Miami freestyle on stage. You got to have some With wicked Asian honest. With all with Asian Asians dudes, on the stage. man, like dancers yo, bro, and my band, bro, I gotta give Asians it to you, man. And man. I, I gotta shit, give it to you, man. That shit was nerve wracking. Cause let me tell you why. Let me see if I you can know, play that clip but right a lot of the kids there don't even know uh, uh, at the Apollo. Yeah, they don't so know. There you go. That's but you, bro. My, but my shit was on point. I said, you know what? Just go in there and do Stevie B, and that's New York. So mm -hmm. a lot of urban, a lot of urban community don't admit that they know about Stevie B or they like Stevie B. Cause yeah, I never yeah. really, I really n never really captured the urban community, the black community. Uh, not as much as I went. Cause I'm like Freestyle, the best kept secret. The forbidden yeah. genre. Jeremy, I'm the best kept secret in the urban community <laughs> in the black community. Shh, don't let it, Here's so, the, I can imagine the rock so going, playing look, Stevie B. Look B's at the girls line. up front. If you look at that, look at that audience. They, I mean, we got there. They was like, what? the fuck is that who is that and by the time they knew it i had their ass rocking they was popping and they did not boo me and let me tell you something they said if you can make it in the apollo yeah. you can make it and guess what <laughs> i made it bro that shit, yeah that shit was yeah. hard that shit was hard i was nervous as a motherfucker right there you don't even have a clue i was nervous you was like i'm just doing but my that thing was and it is what but it that is was live. That yeah. vocal is live. The band is that live. That must have been a magical yeah. moment, man. That must. What do you remember? What you did after you got off stage? I was like, <laughs> thank. I'm like, thank you, Lord. This year was good. See, Arsenio Hall was like this. The other one is uh -huh. a show with a urban with a black host. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, Arsenio asked me to come and uh, got to hang out with Eddie and uh, I went over to Eddie's house afterwards. And I was I was trying to I was getting into those hobnobbing. Mo I was starting to. Yeah, get you were getting your footing Hollywood. into the little Hollywood thing. Yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the, the starness of the whole thing. Yeah. And then, you know, we had some issues during the Ars after the Arsenio thing. I'm talking like the personal stuff with the lawsuits and stuff like that. Yeah. But for the most part, Stevie B did get recognized. He did. Yeah. Um, I, I, really, I really loved how uh, if you weren't a fan 
of Stevie B uh, before you saw him afterwards? That was always my quest. Yeah, you know, a lot of times, yeah, when I see somebody that hasn't seen me in a long time, and they're like, oh, or, or, or you know, that I really didn't, didn't, never had an association with, but they knew me from the radio. They're like, oh, DJ Simon, what's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, man. And they start reminiscing and not not saying it to say it. They, they like, yeah, man, you know, I miss all that, you know, freestyle, you know, Stevie B. You know, Steve, you know what I'm saying? Like, automatically, you know, Stevie B. Like, you definitely top of mind, dog, especially in Miami, man. So, uh Props out. So for that. that's what the, this is. This is what the freestyling podcast is all about. Yeah, I think I think that uh, we're able to touch into areas and spaces that uh, first and foremost, a lot of freestyle artists didn't get there. They didn't. Mm. Only a few only a few got close and went in and got to see the mountaintop and, su- and see the saw the view. Yeah. All of it wasn't beautiful. All of it wasn't pretty now. Mm. But uh, uh, it was it's a part of the journey. And I think we have so many interesting things to share uh, with the public and let them know uh, exactly what was going on while you were loving the record this way. The people that was delivering that record, they were a lot of times happy. They were sad. And and, and I'll be honest with you, there was a lot of blood left on the dance floor and people don't, they don't know. They don't know. Uh, And and this is our time that we have time now to come back and share it. I don't regret any of it. There's many things that went on, went down. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I'm proud that we can say after 35 years that we're still standing we are communicating with the whole world on new technologies. Yeah. We get at least we get. There's a lot of people who have passed on. They have died. Yeah, they never yeah, got rest a chance. In peace and especially never, during COVID, never, a lot of people passed. Yeah, on. man. Yeah. Nobody. Know. A lot of people didn't get a chance to tell their stories, bro. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, That's why it's so important. Blessed. You know, I was the one. Just real quick, I was hanging out with. Uh, I think it was like maybe a year and a half ago. Was it a year? I, I forgot. But anyway, I think it was about a year and a half ago. Hanging out with Coolio mm-hmm. up in Long Island. You know, interview Coolio, and we were just kicking it, and he was telling me, "Man, I ain't, I ain't afraid of COVID." You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't, I don't even think I can get it. I forgot what he told me about his antibodies, but something with his antibodies, he was like, "I can't even get it." You know what I mean? And then, lo and behold, a, a couple of months later, they were like, "Yo, Coolio passed." I was like, "What?" I could not believe because the dude looks like healthy, like you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't, ain't nothing could stop him, Superman style. And, and COVID it was don't just, care shit about your healthy. It, it was. Don't I don't know if it was him. COVID that did him in, though. I think it was something else. Yeah. But um, but well, it was real you know, unfortunate. He, he was. He was. He still liked to have that fun. Coolio yeah. liked to have that fun. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Listen. Yeah, so we we said we would, indulge, we, would, you know? we would talk about our culture. So I want to have a, a quick Cuban moment. One of the things that I love yeah. about my culture is is the food, right? Like you know. It's funny because, <laughs> you know, sometimes I'll go to a Cuban restaurant, right? And I'll, I'll, I'll order some arroz con frijoles and some picadillo. And I'll, I'll taste the picadillo and I'm like, mm, you know, it's not bad, but it ain't Mama Sama. It ain't Mama Sama. Because there's something about Mama Sama's picadillo that gets functified. You know what I mean? You, 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 know, you know when a meal is really good, when you got leftovers, right? And you go to bed. And you thinking about those leftovers? <laughs> you going? It's you know be what? A, you, if they don't, it's gonna be a problem. It, 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 be a problem. It's, it's, it's one of those one of those things where the the meal the leftovers will not survive overnight. No, you're going no, back no. for it. That's yeah. what. And the smell stays yeah. in the kitchen for like a day. Yes, because yes. it's so well, damn good. Well, well, well. You know, um, uh, gastronomically, as we would say. Uh-huh. I'm I'm very open. I'm a big sushi fan. I'm a sashimi fan. I'm an Asian food fan. But when you're in Brazil, the one thing about the Brazilians, they just like the Cubans. Okay. They know when you they know when your shit ain't right, bro. <laughs> My wife is. Particular. They say these beans these beans ain't seasoned. These beans yeah. ain't seasoned right, Stevie. She'll go to me. Let's go to the churrascaria. Vamos lá no Barra Brasa. Vamos lá no no uh, uh, fogo do chão. You say fogo do chão. Fogo do chão. You know, fogo de chão is not fogo de chão. It's fogo de chão. And yeah. it means um, fire in the floor. So the Brazilians make a pit in the floor and they put the carvão, they put the, 
the wood and stuff on the floor, uh -huh. and then they cook the food, and so it's called fogo de chão. Wow. So that's where they get that from. And, and who can cook bar great barbecue is Argentina, Brazil. They do a thing, bro. They 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 got it, and they know when you don't have it. Yeah, they'd be like, mm, they be now. Nah, for, for us, it's the pork, the man. In. For us, it's the yeah. pork, the yeah. cajachina, the pork, pork. Boy, yes. we 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 Ooh. get busy with that. Ain't but, nobody can touch it. <laughs> but if your shit ain't right, but if it ain't right, they they'll let you know. Right, the roast con pollo, your shit ain't right. They'd be like, mm -mm. yeah, that shit ain't, it ain't it ain't good. The paella, stuff like that. So. Great foods go with our culture. Great foods go yeah. with uh, freestyle. That's freestyle why, music that's has why it's culture. important. It's important to have a great wine to go with those foods. So, you think we should? You, you know, think we should drop a wine? You think I we think should do so, a wine? Sir. I think so, man. I think that's going to be a real good look. <laughs> because to face it, man, you know people our age they love to have, especially the ladies. They yeah. love to have their glass of wine with their meal. I know. You know whether I got it's nice white or red. I got. I, yeah, I got what do you nice like? What do you like? You like cabs? You like Merlots? What do you like, man? I'm a Merlot fan, and I like um, a, a little bit of a sweet um, Reslick. I like Reslick with my seafood, uh -huh. and I'll do uh, a red wine. I'll do uh, some a Merlot, a nice one. I like a, a. I don't like it too bitter, but I don't like it too sweet. My wife likes the sangria type sweetness, but I, I like a, a a little bit uh, bland like that, and. Uh, yeah. Uh, for whiskeys, um, I like a little Jack. I'm a Jack fan. Really? I don't uh, like Jack. I'm uh, a Johnny Walker yeah. guy. Yeah. I'm, I'm a, a Johnny, Johnny fan, but I like Jack. Any The brown liquors, I'm pretty yeah. cool if you got, you know, uh, the Johnny is But you're not is a big excellent. drinker, though. You don't really drink, right? I don't yeah. indulge yeah. in any, in, I don't partake in anything too much. Uh, yeah. I've, seen, I've seen what the too muches do of almost yeah. anything. Yeah. Uh, was there a time I mean, though I, where it was a little bit out of hand? Never, it was never out never, never out of hand. Okay. Never. That's I just that's, started smoke I just yeah. started s smoking a little herb at, uh -huh. at, at, when I was my you know when it became legal and all that on the west coast mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. Uh mm -hmm. my son was like, "Dad, you can't sleep, bro. Why don't you just take hit hit this uh indica?" He's an indica fan. I'm like, "How the okay. fuck you going to smoke indica in the daytime?" But he's already hyper, so he needs that Okay, but as I got older, I needed the energy, so I'm a I'm a sativa fan with a, I like a hybrid. I'm a hybrid okay. kind of guy, but okay. I don't smoke uh, every day. I don't do it. I won't overindulge. I got liquors that's been in here. It might be up here in my cupboard. It'll be here for a year or when I have a party, stuff yeah. like that. But every once in a while, I like to go get us a, 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 a you know get a little taste. We're gonna work but on I, that one. Yeah. We're gonna work on that wine, that, Stevie. That wine is a good look. You, you, you know, I got to give you another credit. Uh, Sama yelled at me. He say, "Bro, you need <laughs> you're to have leaving, a wine." Everybody, you're you're say, leaving like, money hey, bags on the table on the is what table. I told he you, said, bro. He's like, "Everybody's got a wine. Everybody's got a wine." I'm like, <laughs> "So you guys don't know about Sama? I have to uh, hook uh, just to hook him up right now. The, the guy is a, a great entrepreneur. He's a business guy." But he's been a DJ program director. Uh, he's in the media business, marketing, branding, uh, and and uh, he's doing. You know, he knows how to produce these kind of shows. So when he presented it, and and I had been talking about doing it. Everybody knows, yeah, that I had royalty radio for a long time. But I didn't really want to spend the time to uh, to do it. I like my private time. And when you start to take on these kind of uh, commitments. Uh, it's, it's time it, consuming. It, yeah, yeah, it can be tasking. I mean, Absolutely. I literally, yeah. I, I literally, I, I've done four interviews already today, and and I thank, kind of thank God for it because it, it's it's putting the Stevie B name, like, you know, I'm in most of those cities that we're performing in. Those yeah. advertising are already started, so, and I'm hot right there. Yeah, but that's but good that you I enjoy get, it. Yeah, I enjoy it because I like to talk. I yeah. like to talk. And uh, I think I have something to share with people. And I haven't done enough of it. Yeah. I haven't done enough of it. I think I have something to. Uh, and it, and my stuff is non-traditional. Sometimes you'll hear an opinion from me. And uh, like, like uh, I heard Pitt today. <clears throat> he was giving like a, um, 
uh, uh, service announcement, public service announcement on his globalization. And I mm. ran across it on the Facebook and he was talking about, you know, you need to focus, focus, focus and focus, focus, focus and look forward, 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 forward and don't look back and don't look back. And, and I said, that sounds cool to say that. And don't look back and don't look back. And I'm saying sometimes in order to go forward, you have to back up. You get in a parking lot and you park your car. You got to back up before you go forward. Because you sometimes get into a space, you need to look back and look into your wisdom. We are a bag of emotions. We are a bag of experiences. So I'm going to say to Pitt, it depends on what age you are. If you 65, 75, 80 years old, ain't that much forward. All you have is what you've done. Looking forward, hell, you getting ready to move out out of this world. Yeah. And if you look if you look yeah. if you yeah, because when you get around our age, what are we talking about? We're talking about taking it all back. We're not talking about, oh, let's talk about only thing we're gonna be doing in the next five, six, seven, eight years. Let me tell you some motherfuckers is dropping dead from things. Mm-hmm. I can't take that concept. I can look forward to some of the things that we're doing now and I can put an energy towards it. But I can't just take 65 years of my life and not look back at it and say, Stevie B, what did you learn from those things? What has it taught you? And what is it going to give you going forward in your next? I'm already thinking about my mortality. I'm 65. My classmates are dropping dead. People are dropping. You just told us, said something about Coolio. Yeah. But you didn't have to be, you don't have to be 65 to drop dead. But the point I was, I thought about when he kept saying that with that fervency is that depends on how old you are. Because an 85 year old person ain't looking <clears throat> forward, forward, forward. The 85 year old person has got his will in place. He already bought his his tombstone. I he already did. So, so I don't want to get caught yeah. up in these kind. I don't want to get up. But I was just saying the things that yeah. we are able to share. And I think in wisdom is that you have to look back in your past. Take it all back is something happened, uh, DJ. Something happened in 1987, 1988 and 1989. That was special. Uh, 19, yeah. That was so fucking special, bro. Yeah. You can't just not look back at that like it never existed. And he said, he says, look forward and don't ever look back. Just keep it, keep it there. Mm. I'm like, no, you have to go back and give homage. You have to give go back and give flowers yeah, to probably, yourself. Yeah. He probably meant a lot on, more than on. that. Yeah. I know what he meant. I know what he meant. Mm. But you you have to put things in perspective because you have to think about who you're talking to. You mm -hmm. have to think about who that's getting to. And I'm not saying that it's not a good concept if you're 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, trying to stay focused because the biggest part of most of the people today, teenagers and all that, they can't stay focused. And I got what yeah. he's saying with that. Yeah. But he's got to remember that he's talking to another audience. Pitt ain't no spring chicken either now. So his audience is 30s. He's got some teens in there, but he's got the 30, 35. Yeah, we all remember, listening. you know, the first oh, yeah, few well, records that came out and how we supported him and still support him to this day, man. It was still to this day. Yeah. So I'm saying that not to knock it, but I was saying how I would present wisdom yeah. to people, people from a different perspective because my age bracket is different from Pitt. And the way I think is we are our memories. That's all we are. Our intellect is our intercollect of our experiences, our memories, and what we remember and how we use it in our day-to-day -day life. We try to pass something on to our kids. We yeah. try to bounce off our spouses yeah. and we try to take all of that experience and wisdom that we had, DJ, and put it and formulate and formulate it in, into something valuable. And, and you, you want it what? to be. Yeah, that's valid. You want it to be that, valuable. That's absolutely you valid to be, what you're saying. You Go say ahead. you want it to be valuable, but it, it lives right here. You say it's living. It's living in my heart. It's living in my memories. Mm -hmm. So. What can I take from those experiences, pass them on, but be real enough about it 
to it don't sound so cliche it's all you know i don't want to be a cliche i want it to be look i look at freestyle music this way freestyle music was created for us in 1985 and 1986, 1984, there was no freestyle. So whoever is in control of this planet and this universe has said, I'm going to allow this style of music. Because you remember, we got jazz, we got this, we got salsa merengue, we got all kind of styles. And believe me, each one of those styles got their kings and queens mm -hmm. and princesses, mm -hmm. stars. Mm -hmm. How many you think tried but failed? only a few handful that you can name in salsa, samba, merengue. Yeah, you always got your top five, man. Everywhere. Every genre. So, this I look at freestyle like a magical door that was opened for us to express ourselves differently than what was going on. What was going on? Disco. We're coming out of disco. Mm -hmm. R&B was still, still going to be there. Yep. Uh, you have uh, you have jazz, you have this one, and you have the other one. But why all of a sudden this little door opened up for this style? And this is how I look at it. It was a miracle of opportunity for those of us who saw it. I saw it. And I said, you know what? I can get into there. Jump I can't on sing it. like I jump on it. <laughs> Tom I can't Tom sing like such. I can't sing like such and such. And you you got to remember. You look, you have to remember something. We were there when the technology it was going from analog to digital. Yeah. It wasn't even there yet. They yeah. didn't even have MIDI. They didn't have. We, you know, so this is the technical technical part of the track real to real. Because you went. Man. A lot of people don't know uh, Samba Samba went to full sale he's a yeah. he's an engineer he was from full sale degreed with so when we talk about production the digital world wasn't even there yet tolga and i were already mixing with computers and doing that stuff before anybody would even yeah. talked about doing it so we mm. were there in the groundbreaking yes movements. so we don't go back and visit that and look at it and say do you know we were fucking cavemen that came into the fucking uh, digital world. And we were trying to tell people, hey, man, music is going to be produced this way. We used to try to tell real like all the drummers and musicians that was going to the studio over criteria. We say, hey, music going to be made like this. Emulator. Say, man, that Emulator. <laughs> you, you, Come on, you, bro. You, you guys were known for that sound. You and Toga were known for the emulation sound I like you, you get yes. like when you hear the record you were like oh that that came from that camp you know what i mean everybody knew where it came from but i i want to say this real quick because because you, mm -hmm. you you brought up a valid point with the whole pit thing but this is this is my take on it okay this is the way i look at it okay i personally like to focus on the present i like to focus on the now i like to focus on what's in front of me i never forget about where i came from i never forget about where i want to go but my main focus is i like to be conscious i like to be conscious of what's going on in my life right now because it goes by so damn fast and i like to be mm. present and i like to have my energy right at the moment of what's happening right now but no i do not forget about what's you know what, i have what, what to say i past. have to say this i have to say this on yeah. this part yeah a lot of us have unresolved situations that are still lingering yes it's attached to us mm -hmm. and and to get into the moment sometimes you have to resolve some of Past relationships, past re business relationships, yes, yes. past pa past friendships, uh, uh, dealing with uh, 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 COVID, dealing with uh, mortality of others, dealing mm -hmm. with uh, bad business decisions on our own parts. We made yep, bad decisions, yep, so yep, yep. we we carrying that all around in our muscles and in our veins and in our brain and in our history. It's it's there. It's lingering there. So you can get into the moment, but a lot of us have unresolved stress, unresolved pressure, unresolved uh, uh, drama, because a lot of times that drama carries on in how you go in the studio. 
Yeah. How you go into your creative environment, how you go into your next uh, a relationship with a woman or a guy, whoever your whatever your preferences are. You carrying all it is, or we say we carrying all that baggage. Mm-hmm. Now that's a fun th- that's a fun thing to say to a fourteen year old because he ain't got much baggage with him yet. A seventeen yeah. year old he ain't got much shit that he's yeah, done. Sixty year olds got some serious you know things S- that happen. Sixty yeah. year olds got some yeah. serious shit that, that's going on. Yeah. So what the relativity of what I'm saying is that's fine, but when you're you're twenty. You're putting down most of the shit that you did when you were a small little teenager. And then when you're 30, you're trying to fix all the shit you did when you was 20. Mm-hmm. And then when you're 40 and 50, you see what I'm saying? Maybe you can celebrate some of the shit you did when you was 35 and 40. And hopefully when you get to 60s and 70s, you can say, you know, what? I resolved all that shit. I don't even indulge like this no more. I do this yeah. now. I smoke a little J every once in a while. I do a little this now. I do that. How you do that, Stevie? Uh, you know, see, I can say that by reflecting on my past yeah. because if I didn't have that past, it's the cushion. that mm-hmm. It's like the magic carpet that's carrying you because it's a part of your, it's the bed of your sanity. Yes, it's the bed of your relativity. It's your relativity. It lives there because ain't nobody you can talk to in this business. You know what I'm talking about Mm. without talking about having your resume ready to go. And what is your resume? Ain't nothing but your past. Yeah. And that's that's because the people want to know what people want to know what what the hell have you done for the world? And that's, that's one of your the past. reasons. That's one of the reasons why people love to go to these concerts because they can relive their past. You know what I mean? But then oh, when man. they leave, they got to focus on the now and do what they got to do and live in the that's conscious right. instead of the subconscious. Yes. You know, the, yes. I'm sorry, the unconscious. The unconscious. Yes. You want? You want? You know what I'm saying? Be present, man, in your in your family's life, your kids, your grandkids. Be present, man. You know, have fun yes. at what is going on at the moment. That's all I'm saying. With that, I say, go ahead. I think that's what, I, th- I think I think that's the point that he was trying to make. Yeah. Uh, because of all of the uh, uh, technical distractions that's out there right yeah. now, there's a yeah. lot of distractions. And and the culprit, the culprit is is this right here. The yeah. culprit is this, this thing right here. I mm-hmm. think a lot of times for young people, uh, it's a little bit too much information. Uh, uh, I get it. I mean, I live on it. I live with it. I mean, it, it could be four o'clock in the morning. My wife is on her phone four in the morning. Uh, she's on her phone and I'm on my phone. <laughs> it goes she's on in every household that. in America <laughs> and abroad, bro. It goes on. At, yes, I'd be like, you, you still see, on your phone? So you in bed and you still on your phone? Come on now. <laughs> and she said, you on your phone too? So did you, did you look on your Facebook page to see how many likes you got? And what the conversation yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. you are. Oh, okay, Lord. it's the story of our life. It's yeah, my wife is like, you're but, always on that computer. I go, because that's my but, business. Like, that's how I get paid, girl. Well, Sama, remember you? this. There's a lot of people don't have, they don't have the analog history like we do. Yeah. Most of these indeed. kids today, most of these kids today from the last 25 years, they don't know nothing about the analog world unless they hear about it or they might have read about it. Absolutely. So when you talk about when you talk about that smell of arroz con pollo and the coffee being brewed early in the morning and living an African American people getting their hair done and they're getting that fucking curling iron and stuff like that. When you live in the digital world, mm-hmm. something happened to your senses. I go to the grocery store in the United States. I can't even smell the fruit. I don't even know what happened to mangoes. You can't even get the mangoes. I, mean, I don't know if you remember your neighbors used to have mangoes. I steal the mangoes off my neighbor's tree. I didn't, we didn't have, but yeah. my neighbors did. Until like until the maple from the mango got onto my skin. I was just going to say that. And, uh, yeah, and okay. I broke out in a rash. The turpentine, the, turpen, <laughs> the, turpentine, the turpentine mangoes. <laughs> that little, they used to drip, used yes. to drip right there from yeah, the stem. Yeah, caused a bad rash from that, and yeah. And your, and your throat, your throat started itching. Yeah. But yep, look, yep. The, and then we used to get the, uh, the navel oranges. Mm. Right there in Florida. We used to get mm. those oranges. 
When's the last time you saw that? Li- When's the last time you saw the little tangerines used to get at Christmas time? Well, the ones that open them. up really easy. Yeah, only when I buy them. They don't them. even have them. Yeah, but they don't have them no more at the grocery store. I don't know where the fruit is coming from. I don't know where the mangoes is coming from. But when I come well, I to still Brazil, buy tangerines. Yeah. But they don't. I can't find them uh, uh, most of the time in the, in, way, in the West Coast. The way you used to have them. No, yeah. that the ones that used to have, and they used to have like the little uh, air pocket in. You just pop it open, and mm-hmm. they, brother, they so sweet. Yeah, my kids so love tangerines. Juicy. Yeah. Okay, so there are things that you can't find uh, uh, in the world today, and we're talking about. I'm talking about the analog world, and I'm talking about before the digital thing came in. Yeah. It's a special it's, it's a special time. So take it all back is taking us back into those moments mm-hmm. uh where people had those high school experiences over at Miami High, Killian, North Miami. You know what I'm talking about, Palmetto, yeah. uh I went to South North Miami Senior High. That's where I graduated. Stop from. it. Stop yeah. it. That's where Stop I graduated it. from, seriously. And I went to Miami Dade Community College right there. And on one nineteenth, you know, <laughs> and twenty seventh, really? yeah, yeah, man, yeah, wow. yeah. Wow, so definitely so from around is, the way. This this goes along with our take it all back. Uh, our music was playing during those time when the Panthers was open, back streets was open, City all limits. those clubs. So yeah. they let him come on, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rick's bar, uh, what was it? Casanovas, all Bro. that, man. Come on, man. <laughs> so so we we classic it, times. So, so you can't get that if you don't look back. Yep, yep, yep. You yep, can't yep. get you. You can talk about forward, yep. but part of that is a part of our makeup. Yeah. So when you play part of your body, uh, I'm get I'm me and Toga's over in my studio in um in Fort Lauderdale, mm-hmm. and uh, the Panthers was right around the corner. Al 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 Peters was the, the DJ, in uh, at that time, and they like Stevie, your show. Bro, it's going around the block. And I was like, what are you talking about? He says, they going crazy. This show is sold out, sold out. And that's when you know you had the team crowd back in the day. I go to the Panthers and DJ, stop it. You're giving me chill bumps, right? You want to kill me, bro? I'm in, I'm in that fucking window, bro. I'm in that window. You need to stop, bro. Shouts out to MDW. Now, I hounded him for this version, but he finally gave it to me. That's what I was going to talk to I saw y'all message. I saw y'all message. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm a stickler, man. I'm a stickler when it comes to getting what I want. Because <laughs> he's like, he it in. You don't know I was I was out with my girl, bro. You yeah, know. yeah. He was like, he was like, man, I'm, I'm celebrating Valentine. I was like, how was I supposed to know you were celebrating so, Valentine so, five so, days early? A week earlier. <laughs> <laughs> but shouts out to MDW, man. Right. Shouts out to MDW, but he did he did a good job, great interview, and that guy is uh, he's on fire. He's got some fucking energy, that guy. Yeah, Holy yeah, shit. yeah. He definitely does. But he, listen, he gotta, man, we are excited about the show uh, in Miami, March 11th. It's going to be off the hook. The yes. other thing I want to mention is we haven't started, um, you know, putting it out there, but we we are going to be accepting sponsors and endorsers for this uh, freestyling with Stevie B show. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and hit the DM and uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and check you out. And um, if you, you have a business you want to promote, uh, you have a brand that you're looking to get some more exposure and, and you like what Stevie does and, and you want him to be a part of a, an endorsement guy for you, um, that's, that's open on the table. So go ahead and DM us. Uh, we will be, uh, you know, taking taking select sponsors. I'm um, coming up on this uh, freestyling with Stevie B show. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. So you know, we're excited about that. March 11th is going down. The Wasco Center. Look out, boy! The Ooh, lineup is that's, a home, that's the home. Com- that's the homecoming. Yeah. I always say it's always good to come back to Miami. You know, I moved out of Miami uh, maybe uh, n- uh, late. 1990 early early 1990s yeah because if you buy a house in hialeah right now you'll never get any sleep (laughs) (laughs) stevie i need to borrow some cafe con leche bro come on (laughs) i I was out in uh in bonaventure out in rolling oaks i had like 13 acres out there that's what the b-land that's what b-land was right Uh yeah and uh it it was nice and quiet what what do you miss what you what do you miss most about miami do you miss uh, the culture? Do you miss uh, your yes, friends? Yes. What, what is it that you miss most about all of, all of that? I don't I don't get to see my my classmates. I get calls. 
And the only calls I get now, they tell me who has uh, transitioned. Yeah. But uh, th- they're coming. Uh, George Coakley's uh, always been one of my best friends down there. Yeah. Pete Davis and and I go on and see the um, the the class. They have a, a a website, so I get to see what's going on with them sometimes, and they'll post up stuff. So. Do you uh, do Do I'm, you do any nonprofit uh, work? Um, you know, visit hospitals, anything like that. I like to do shit for profit, bro. You know, it's profiting. But I do, I do stuff. I do stuff from time to time when I do have the time, yeah. and people ask me. Um, I always want to give back. Uh, I did more back in the day when the charities. What, you know, and a lot of the oh, charities have. We're just have, getting but, out of COVID still. You know, people are a little finicky yes. about you know doing some in, even visiting, in visiting. Matter yeah. of fact, the the hospitals don't even want you in there in there no more because yeah. it's just too dangerous to do. But I do, I do. Uh, my my heart is still open for charities like that. Yes. Okay, that's good to know, man. So we go, man. We've been going on for uh, about an hour and fifteen minutes. It's, don't it's, even it feels, feel like it. It feels like don't we even just, feel like it. Just chilling, but I, I want to thank well, you. That, we just, you know? we just do. We just freestyling, bro. <laughs> You're absolutely right. We are we just, just freestyling. freestyling. We just freestyling, bro. That's right. That's, that's what. Right. That's what's gonna make this show so unique. We just freestyling, and, and yeah. And so I, everybody and, can expect to get this show every Friday at seven p.m. For now, if there's gonna be a time change in the future because of you know initial things that that come into play, we'll let you guys know ahead of time. But always look for it on the same bat channel, seven p.m. Eastern. Okay, Super Bowl Sunday. Who are you going for, man? I got to tell you, I'm a Green Bay Packers fan. Okay. And wow, I'm a, oh, really? I'm a, wow, you had a bad year. And, uh, <laughs> I know, I know. And I'm a, I'm a Vegas Raiders. Actually, I'm you a almost Vegas made it to I'm the playoffs. Vegas. You know, the truth be told, you almost Vegas, made it to, to the playoffs. Uh, okay, so I'm a Vegas Raiders fan. Uh-huh. But uh, I'm, I'm going to have to go. Uh, fucking Philadelphia talk too much shit. You know, I'm gonna go with Kansas. I'm gonna go with Kansas City, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna you know, tell you. Yeah, fucking, they won't. Sh- they won't I, shut the fuck yeah. up. I'm not a fan you know, of they, either one, but but uh, I'm yeah, gonna go yeah. with. I'm gonna go with me, Philadelphia. You ask me which yeah. one I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Philadelphia. Yeah. Don't do that, bro. Go you don't want to go against me, bro. You don't want to yeah. go against me, bro. Man, I got come the magic. On now. I, bro, come on now. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, they do. They fucking <laughs> them motherfuckers want to win so bad. They yeah. want to win, man. Yeah, but they deserve it. That I mean, the quarterback has been the team, the whole team. But everybody was downplaying the quarterback, talk shit about him the whole season. You know, uh, he can't do this. He can't do this under pressure. He can't do that. And everything they said he couldn't do, he did it. Yeah. So you got to give him credit. They're also going to have a puppy bowl on Sunday. The, the, the goal is to uh, get 200 puppies adopted. So that's wow. going to be that's going to be pretty cool. So if you guys want wow. information on that, I'm sorry I didn't put it on here, but you know me and Stevie still working out the motions. But look yeah. up Puppy Bowl, and you'll be able to get the information if you want to be a part of that adoption process, which I think is pretty yes. cool. Yeah. Yes, we're going to announce. We'll put something up on the on the uh, on the glass up there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But when, I'm a, when we get there. But I'm a, I'm excited about uh, getting getting back home. But uh, I am enjoying myself uh, at my house here, and uh, I know every you day enjoy enjoy that that little bit of a window of time off that you got, Stevie. You better do backflips on that pool. And do my wife and I were just right. talking about. We were yeah. just saying. He said, "Just the time is just going by too fast. Yeah. It's just, I, and I'm and look, I'm tasting every. You know, how you say I'm tasting every little, <laughs> every little drip, <laughs> every drop." <laughs> Time to get back it's on the whip, to, boy. Because I know, I know, I know that feeling when it gets, a, you know, the nonstop grind. Yeah. And and now that and now that we got this record that's heating up, so uh-huh. you don't know. I'm getting texts and DMs and 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 emails. I mean, I just do, I just turned down. Um, uh, what's the the the, the, the show, pro- program with the comedian? Uh, uh George. Uh, what's the name? Uh. uh LA, and I told you they sent me the thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know who you're talking about the, the 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 George guy. Yeah, I forgot his last name, man. I guess it's not coming to him. Uh, uh, I'll look him up. But anyway, what's the, what? what's the comedian? What's the comedian name? The, 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 the Mexican comedian. He's got a TV show and all I that. Know, but I they know, just called me to do his episode, and 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 I told you, I told you about it. They hit me, and I said, people are gonna be like, how did you not remember his name? Okay, hold on, I'm gonna get it right now. But anyway, my brain is another thing. I want, I want to, I want to mention that on June 9th and 10th, 
down here uh, in Miami over at the Miami Airport Convention Center. We are having the Pro-Am Dance and DJ Expo. Now, you know, we talked about how yes. much uh, breakdancing is influential uh, into, you know, freestyle music and everything that we do. This mm-hmm. this is incorporating all types of dancers, TikTok dancers, break dancers, freestyle dancers. So uh, it's going to mm-hmm. be an amazing uh, expo that we put together every year, and we want to just invite everybody to come on down. You can get more information at ProAmExpo.com. That's ProAmExpo.com. I'm still looking for this damn. How, how could I forget this guy? George Lopez. Yeah, well, you there don't you have go. nothing to George post. George Lopez. Up. George Lopez. George, there you go. I know that was bothering you. I know that I, was it was, I had to find you. it, man. <laughs> It was killing me, you know that, right? Yeah, it yeah. was fucking killing me. I I'm hate like, that his that his night talk show got canceled, man. I thought yeah, it was pretty he's good, so man. Funny. Yeah, I thought but it was I, good. I, but but his but his TV show is fucking hilarious. Yeah. So when they call me, they say, "Oh, can you do this episode?" And I think they're they're taping. What was the taping? What was the day? No, they was taping last week. Uh-huh. And I said, "I am not flying from fucking Rio to L.A." To do George's show, I, I say, are you guys? Can you give me another fucking episode? Give me an episode when I'm home. Why you give me an episode yeah. when I'm on vacation? Yeah, and you know what? I mean, it probably would have meant a lot for me to do that show. Yeah, it would but you have. know what? It's gonna come back double fold. Swallow well, let's let's hope it. Let's hope let's hope it. But it but I, we were talking. But the, I guess I, I led into the George Lopez thing. But yeah. uh, was talking about. What just the dripping of take it all back has done mm-hmm. already? Mm-hmm. What is taken, you know, uh, between Alan, you know, we're on radio in Los Angeles all, you know, all day um, uh, and night. Uh, and most of these markets, because, you know, he starts advertising four or five months ahead of time. So Miami, I know we're getting hot down there with Zog and Power 96. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Palm Spring is all over us. And I just got booked for uh, San Diego, just came in. El Paso is going to come in. Uh, you know who's booking me a lot is uh, MC Magic. MC so people Magic. don't know MC MC Magic out of Los Angeles. Okay. And MC Magic, the recording artist, MC Magic. So Magic's got great songs. West Coast, he's huge. Mm. So Magic is an entrepreneur, and he got on the phone. He said, I just saw your schedule. He said, can you do some shows for me? I say, I said, Magic, we talk. And I said, I told you, I'm not cheap, bro. He says, what's your number be? And I gave him the number, and he already booked three shows within 72 hours. Wow. We're going to, That's he, he's great. Going to, well, you think about it, people don't know. He's, so he built, he, he took Chicago, he took San Diego, and I'm mm. talking, you know, you know, I ain't, a, I ain't an easy catch. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I'm not an easy catch, bro. So, and uh, he called me about El Paso today. He says, I'm just waiting for the venue to clear. That's great. But, going to show you how entrepreneurs from us are coming in they're doing business he's taking me into chicago as i say i said chicago is a t- pretty tough market that's bro. where i'm from I mean, that's where i'm from you I didn't, I didn't know you're a chicago boy yeah i'm a chicago boy man 12 years man that's when straight from cuba to really? chicago then to miami yep 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 wow so i thought about it I said, what the fuck is Magic doing in Chicago? Because he takes Baby Bash. He takes a... Um, We're losing uh, a little bit of signal, signal, but uh, but I, I can still see you. It's the, it's the Wi-Fi. Okay. Yeah, but, but just okay. so you know. Okay, it'll yeah. come back. It'll come back. Yeah. We And we're that time of the day over here in Brazil, too. So, the long story a little bit longer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's gone into Chicago, and a lot of people don't realize that uh, there's a ton of mexicans in chicago oh hell yeah uh, so my boys, a lot yeah. people don't know they yeah. don't know that chicago chicano's is, up the has, yin yang out there yeah absolutely yin yang so he say stevie we go every year i'm like promoters are having a tough time in chicago he said not us and he says i'm bringing you to chicago what's your number he said i said such and such he said, book. But you've been in Chicago, Stevie. You were there with jumping Julian Perez not too yeah, long ago. Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah, but, yeah, but uh, uh, you know, we might do 6,000 people over there in uh, in Chicago. Yeah. But 
we there was a time that we had the Mexican audience that was huge in Chicago, mm-hmm. and I think we're gonna get them back. And I think we're gonna get them back with magic. And yeah, shout uh, I think out to all my Chicago peeps, man. Julian, Bad Boy, Bill, uh, yeah, Too Cool, Chris, all the guys, man, from the hot. Tim Spin and Shomer. Tim Spin and Shomer's over there. Uh, Tim is still killing freestyle. He just. He yeah, just own it. Yeah, Tim, yeah, Timmy, Tim, Timmy, Tim, Tim, Timmy's a funny we need guy. some love. Yeah. yeah, you better play my shit, Tim. Um, don't make me catch a flight. Don't make, don't make me catch a flight. Don't, don't make bro. me catch ca- what? 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 Don't what, make what? me catch a South. South. You know I catch Southwest over there, bro. Y'all Southwest got a hub over there. Bro. I can get right up in there. Don't make me come up. No, but everything is so wonderful, and and I think 2023 was is probably going to be the biggest year. Trinier, she's doing so good. Did you see her schedule? On the, on the Facebook page? Yeah, I think I did. She got like 85 shows this year. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> She's killing it, man. She's killing it. She's killing it. Trinir Trinir, says, I, I, Trinir, I'm not you, playing. When, I'm not playing. When you come off tour, Trinir, we like to get a holler. You know, how you doing? You know, you know can I can doing? I get can I get a Mario's pizza? You know what I'm saying? Pizza some, or some, bro. Some cazoles or something. She, you know she's the queen over here in Brazil. Yeah, she's love the queen Trinier, of freestyle. Man, that's oh yeah, girl. she yeah. yeah she, all right, she, big shouts out to Trinia. Yeah. Shouts out to all the freestyle artists that are maintaining. Yeah, and, and shouts uh, out to all really your fans, man. You. All, all your fans on Facebook. I cannot you know, believe how much they engage with you, dude. Like they, they, they you're like their first cousin, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they love your ass, bro. We, I see we, the comments that they have, leave on your on your post. They're, they're, them dudes is like, yo, what what do you need? Clean we underwear? Have a, we I have got a connection. you. <laughs> they got no. We have we have a connection. That's great. And people man. don't know. Yeah, I've been living in their heart. I've been living in their hearts and in their minds for, for thirty five years. Time. Yeah, yeah, very long we, time. We we grew up. We all grew up together. We all grew up together. All right, Stevie, and we uh, got to wrap this up, man. I know you could talk on. I appreciate and on you, bro. Up, but we, I appreciate you. That's too, why we freestyling, bro. And yes. I already had like a. I had a Red Bull earlier, bro. I'm I'm lit the fuck up. No, we going I another hour, tell, bro. I, I can tell, man. You better <laughs> you, you better go and exercise or something, man. Go lift some weights, bro. <laughs> I gotta get I out got of here. I got that pool. My, you know my, I got that pool. Yeah, my you know wife's looking at pool. me going, uh, and what are we gonna eat? Okay, uh, slow down. I'm coming, I'm coming. Relax, relax. Oh, no, that's a night you know, that's a nightly fight in my house. You know, that's yeah, a nightly yeah. thing. What are we gonna eat? The big question What are we gonna eat? Question mark. of the day. Always, yeah. always. So I'm I'm right, I'm brother. End. okay, brother. Uh thank you so much. Have a great weekend, a great Super Bowl weekend, and uh same time. Next week, 7 p.m. Eastern on Friday. We love you guys. God bless. And, and hit the chat button, man, and uh, let us know how you feel I about have to the say, show. I have to give a big shout out. One thing before we go. O, yeah. o grande abraço para meus fãs aqui em Brasil. Uh, grande abraço para vocês. Uh, vocês têm que ser preparados. Que, que, que ver quanto seu aqui em duas semanas. Uh, Bobby Hum, Stevie B, nossa bandeira. Está chegando na, chegando na área. Tá bom? Valeu. Beijo a todo mundo. Te amo. Un abrazo, mi gente. Te queremos muchísimo. Gotta go. Love. Let's end with the, uh, obviously, podcast intro. See y'all. Peace. Sting love dance, yeah, bitch.